because you know the the great prophets of the Bible uh, were people who saw the injustice around them and they felt God called them to go and speak mainly to the kings and to the religious leaders. So they went with the word of God. The word of God was the word of justice for peace. The truth, you know, this is, this is, now we cannot claim, any one of us can claim, I am a prophet. We're not prophets. But to speak prophetically is the calling of every Christian, as far as I'm concerned. And in some baptismal covenants, and you know, baptism, baptismal covenants change from one church to another in wording. But basically, all the baptismal covenants, at the heart of it, is that you have to resist evil. You have to resist evil in your life and in the community around you. In one baptismal covenant, it says, will you do justice and respect the dignity of every human being? This is a covenant that we've taken at our baptism. So, when you use it, you are speaking prophetically. You're speaking prophetically. You are speaking as the prophet spoke. You're speaking the word of God to people in power. You're speaking the word of justice and peace to people who are oppressing other people. This is prophetic stance, you know, that we are, that we're talking about. And in, the, in this, in this um, article or this chapter that I am working on, uh, I list at least 10 or 11 reasons why people are silent, why church leaders are silent. You know, many people are afraid. Many people don't want to be called anti-Semitic. You know, many people take the Bible literally and they say, God gave, it, gave, gave the Jews the land. You know, so that's it. They don't see where is the message of the Bible. This is what I started talking about, the movement from an exclusive to an inclusive theology. These Christian Zionists take these Genesis or Exodus or Deut Deuteronomy or Leviticus and so on. They take some of these texts and they think that this is only the word of God. Yeah. Instead of seeing the inclusive nature of the message that the Bible has. So, so we are encouraging people to speak prophetically because it is what God calls us to do.